What is up YouTube? Welcome back to Work Knife Balance. We're going to be taking a look at one of the knives from our mail call the other day. This is going to be the Reich Cicada. I'm pretty excited about this one right here. There's a lot of really cool things going on with this knife. It is definitely a collector's piece. But before we get too far into that, I want to go ahead and say thank you to anybody who's already liked and subscribed to our channel. If you haven't, feel free to hit that subscribe button down below. You can also find us on Instagram at WorkKnifeBalance939. That's a great way to communicate with us. Give us a follow there. Let us know what you want to see, and uh, if you send us a knife for review, we'll send you back a sticker and some swag just to say thank you. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the Reich Cicada here. First off, this is going to be a smaller knife, and so we'll get into some side-by-side -side comparisons and stuff, and I got some small knives to compare it to, but um, I really, really like this little thing. So, there's a lot packed into this little package here uh, with this knife, so it's definitely something that I think is... Uh, pretty cool. So this is the cicada knife and it's designed, I believe, um, after a cicada, uh, which is a bug. So this is a little bug knife and uh, it is a button frame lock. So it is going to be a, they classify it as a frame lock, but it's uh, it's really just this button lock to open and close right here. So you can button lock it that way or you can um, operate it like that. It does have a really nice, really nice front flip or top flip um, that you can go right off the top just by pulling over like that. So uh, it's a really, really, really well de tuned uh, detent so you can actually snap through there like that. There's no clip on this knife. It's actually designed, I believe, to be kind of like a neck knife. So you've got a little spot right here for the, it comes with a It comes with this really nice chain, um, like necklace chain right here. So uh, they they give you to that they give that to you already, which is nice. And then it's got a spot just to hang it there, so it would just be hanging from your neck um, as such right there. But this thing is really really well done. We'll start off with some side by side comparisons before I get into all the little details and all that kind of cool stuff going on through that. But um, we'll go ahead and open this up and do some measurements. Overall, tip to tail, we are looking at five inches tip to tail. Uh, blade length, 1.8. Cutting edge, 1.75, I'd say, something like that. Um, so it's a really, really small uh, knife. It is definitely a compact neck knife, styled knife and everything. You've got a spear tip blade to it right here. This backside is not sharpened, so you don't have to worry about that. Just the front tip is sharpened there. Um, that is going to come out and actuate and open that way as well. So uh, you have that little kind of safety feature. If you need to, you can get on this back edge right here to push through, cut, whatever you need to, or anything like that. Ergo's on it. It's a smaller knife, so... Uh, keep that in mind when you go through some of the ergos and everything. It does fit in hand really nice. You hide everything. There's nothing showing on the backside here. With this backside not being sharpened, I think it helps those ergos a little bit so you can, can get in here if you need to do any sort of carving. Definitely uh, good penetrating power with it being a spear tip blade like that. The edge, at least on this one, is off-centered from the actual tip, which that's one of the hardest things to do with spear tips is keep that line, that center line, definitely centered through there. Uh, overall, though, that's that's not a uncommon thing to see on spear tip knives, so that's nothing to really knock it about or anything like that. All of this gold detail is raised. It's, it's not like an inlay. It's not like a gold inlay or anything like that. It is just kind of like painted like a chrome paint or gold um, gloss paint over the top. But it is raised and it brings a lot of really nice detail to it as well. And then you can see the traditional Reich pivot there. Let's see if we can get it to zoom in. Um, the Reich pivot there, which just looks fantastic on this knife. There are three different variations of this knife. There's this one right here, which is my favorite of the three. And then there's a blue and gold one, which has a shiny blue head essentially, and then all of this is gold, um, as well as a kind of uh, just silver and blue. So it's all silver, like a shiny satin silver finish with blue eyes and the blue Reich um, head right here. So those are kind of the three variations of the cicada knife. I think they're all pretty fantastic. This one and the silver one are probably my two favorite, but I, I like the gray and gold. I like the 
accent to it. I think it would have been really cool if they were able to paint the wings on the silver and blue one blue as well. That one probably would have been just add a little extra color to it and probably would have been my favorite then. But um, as it stands, this is my favorite right here. We got some side by side, some small knives, side by side knives. We've got the Civivi High Feet High Five or Kai Five or whatever. It's a little slip joint from Civivi as well uh, to put in there. And then we've got the uh, Civivi Cubit knife in here. Wanted to get some smaller knives to show you some comparisons to right there. See, it is definitely a small knife. Go ahead and put the slip joint away. We'll get the uh, button lock elementum out as well so we can put that there. Just kind of showing you that it is in that smaller category. Uh, we could pull a big knife out, I guess, and just kind of show you the comparison um, to like a pair of two right there, big knife. But it's definitely, obviously you can see a, a smaller knife in, in size right there. So don't think that you're getting anything that is gonna be uh, like this is definitely a compact carry and it's it's something that you would want to put in a pocket or like a fifth pocket or uh, definitely use that lanyard that they give you and carry it around your neck. Um, so I was trying to figure this out. There's some angles that you look at this with and it looks like there might be a seam right here and I couldn't see anything that said it was technically an integral or whatnot, but I believe this is an integral frame. So the integral frame, so it has the one side for the blade to come out there and then the other side is all one solid piece. These two heads essentially cap off for the pivot. So you can see a seam around where like the cicada's head would be around the pivot and those would pop off. And then I think that's how the blade slides out in this direction, essentially to do any sort of maintenance work or um, anything you needed to work on or, or that's how they put it together too. But I believe it is an integral frame as well. So that in itself just adds another level of kind of just, I don't know, detail to it that makes it really cool. One thing that they continue to do with this being kind of like a bug series knife um, is they've got like all the milling on the back to show like the ridges of the back of the cicada right there. You've got coming off the eyes, these little ridges here. And then this would be kind of like the whiskers, whisker fizzes on the front of the cicada right there as the mouth over there. So they definitely paid a lot of attention to detail um, when they were putting this together. And if you can, the eyes actually have a little bit of a blue tint on the center of them. I don't know if we're able to see that there. Um, so there, there actually is like a little bit of a dot on both the eyes to show kind of like an eye looking over, which I thought was actually kind of uh, clever and cool to see that come through. So they definitely had a lot of attention to detail in making this knife. And it's, it's not something that I would carry every day. It's not what I would classify as your traditional EDC knife or anything like that but it is definitely well worth what it costs um, for all the detail that they put into it and the materials that they went through as well. So this is a uh, titanium frame lock, so or titanium locked knife, so it is an integral titanium, but it has Bowler M390 steel on it. So on this back side right here, you can see where they have the M390, and then these are numbered. So this is number 317, if you can see that tiny lettering right there. But yeah, this is number 317. So they did um, put some really nice premium steel on this little knife just to kind of add to that collector series piece of it as well. So a lot of really cool things with this Cicada knife. Um, this is from Reich. They come in at about $250. So it is a pretty penny, but there's a lot going into the collector series of what this knife is. Definitely, if this is something you like to add to your collection, I would say head over there because I don't think these are these were pretty popular about a month ago when they first dropped. Um, there may not be a ton left. I will go ahead and put the link down below to Reich's website for this, but uh, that link doesn't support our channel, so don't worry about that if you don't want to support us. Um, it doesn't support the channel, so it is just there for your collection. This has definitely been added to one of the knives that I would love to get in my collection just as a kind of like art piece to put through. So yeah, without further ado, there's nothing else. I'll see y'all next time, TTFN.